Hello, good afternoon. I'm Shanika from Polvea Pottery. Um, I'm sorry for a um, bit of a long delay in uh, putting this up, up for sale and pictures as well. Uh, we just um, managed to get the tyre fixed because it had uh, a squash tyre wheel as in. <laughs> um, and then we fitted this new one. So it, it took some time for my husband to get out and fix that. He only did it last night. So... Here I am. Apologies for that. So, there is the kill now. All ready to be listed. And uh, it is brought into my shed at the moment. Um, so, I just wanted to show its controller. All hardwired. So, there is no plugging, uh, plugging controllers in and out of the kiln at all. This is the controller Stafford, which is a power version. It's uh, that means all the contactors or so software, everything is installed in the controller itself. And there it is hardwired by a professional kiln engineer and pet tested for electrical safety on the 29th of May. Oops, it's taken two months nearly. Sorry, yes, anyway. There is the 13 amp plug, which you can plug it into a mains 13 amp socket. Please do not use an extension lead, which is deadly, dangerous, fire hazard. I tried it myself and I ended up melting my um, socket. So do not do that, please. This is the Stafford controller, which it has all the instruction manuals, etc. And I'm going to put the controller away a bit. That is the overall condition of the kiln. There, my engineer uh, replaced one brick here because it was a um, little crumbly. So, make it ni nice and neat and tidy. And there is a lid catch. You just need to screw it in and out to tighten it in or open the door, the lid. So, this is the big handle, very handy open the kiln slowly there is a new gasket this is a new gasket there and there is the new elements you need to fire this kiln to empty 1100 degrees celsius to season its elements and there we are. Hopefully you can see new shiny elements. And as you can see there are a few um, hairline cracks which does not affect the performance of the kiln. It's just superficial. When I push it is not moving at all. And there is the thermocouple Oops, right on the bottom of the kiln here. This need to be taken um, good care of because if you knock this out it's not going to work. So very careful with that. Um, sorry about the mess there are quite a lot of pieces of clo um, sorry um pieces of paper this is where i do my glaze stuff so there is the lid and the lid catch there and there were a few uh, scuffs that i wanted to show you there some um, something has made some looks like a bag or something has melted into these it's, it's purely superficial so we cannot get rid of that so it's going to be there unfortunately but it does not affect the performance of the kiln in any way whatsoever so two two um blemishes really superficial purely and there is the lid cut off switch here this thing this bar of metal is lid cut off switch and all connected here inside to the electrical box so when you open the kiln the electric electric is going to be shut off it's a safety feature so i will show you how to use it now so first of all do not plug it at home into an extension lead it's not good so i'm going to leave it on the floor a bit It doesn't have extra long cable and I am plugging it to an extension lead just for the demonstration purpose. 
do not do this at home please okay controller lights up and the thermocouple type is r and program number seven is illuminated now and the internal temperature is 18 degrees celsius okay so uh, for starting a program first of all the um, program number 17 is uh, sorry seven is illuminated that is program number seven if you want to put a step it will flash if you want to go up you can if you want to go down press in the lower button down button you can go down it has nine programs nine segments and a, a very complicated but very versatile machine thermal computer this is it's a top of the range one so if you press step it will show delay this button here this is hours and minutes so if you would like to delay for a couple of hours uh, to start the fire in tonight or something like that you can put delay on but i'm not going to do the delay at the moment and i will press that step button again um it will say first ramp here first ramp first segment how much um, how how fast or how fast do you want to ramp i will say i would like to ramp 100 and 100 degrees per hour let's say so press in the upper button upper arrow button keep it pressed and it will go up okay that's it Oops. put it bit far so 100 degrees per hour first segment press the step button again and it will go up to 600 degrees first ramp top temperature and then step button again it will say soak this is soak it is going to soak um, at that six, 600 degrees celsius but you don't usually soak unless you are doing a special firing cycle okay so now i press that down button i am going to press step button again and that will say end but i need second segment so what i'm going to do press up here and that will take me to second ramp so i'm going to put 150 degrees per hour second ramp Oops. right second ramp first program though second ramp second segment 150 degrees per hour till step button again till you reach not zero degrees till you reach 1240 i would say this is just an example of a uh, of how to set up a program so keep that uh, button pressed oh yeah keep going you can um, let's see so if i say 100 and um, i mean 1240 degrees celsius that is the second segment is still program number one second segment and second ramp top temperature you see this will be illuminated again and then you go back again it will ask you would you like to soak if i said yeah i would like to soak and this one here soaking button will be illuminated again i will um, press the upper arrow to soak for five minutes 10 minutes or whichever minutes you, you like let's say 15 minutes so i am soaking for 15 minutes so what that means is once the kiln reaches 1240 degrees celsius it will stay up in that temperature for 15 minutes and then once it's done it will end the whole cycle and your work will be fired fully fired to start the kiln you press that button and you can see there is this little, little thing illuminated and it's went off now that means the contactor the whole kiln is com controlled by this computer here okay so what what this means is that it is going to give the kiln elements a little bit of power at a minute at the time so it's going to only heat up 100 degrees celsius per hour and it will heat up accordingly and it will fire accordingly i've used these controls for so many years and worked with them uh, including our engineer it's recommended it's absolutely fantastic the best one ever best controller so we only use this controller okay so it's, it's quite expensive quite more expensive than others but um, other cheap ones but this is the best controller it's absolutely really good i i myself have one uh, 
yeah that's how it works really it's 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 so simple i am going to be teaching you uh when you come come to pick it up i'm going to be spending as long as it takes for you to learn how to use the kiln properly and confidently without have without having to rely on anybody um yes so that's about it really it's as simple as that so it's going up i mean as as you can hear i can't even hear the com the contactor clicking on and off because the contactor is very very um, noiseless in this this one is superb this one i have a stafford controller but this is um, this is a um, power version which means it has all the as i said before uh, it has all the relays and contactors everything inside this this little piece of box here yeah so there do not try to pull this out because this is hard wired in and uh, the other other thing there must have been a hole which our engineer just blocked it you don't need a hole there so um, as you can see it's going up i'm not going to be firing it too high i'm just going to switch it off because as you can see it's it's plugged in to an extension lead so i don't want that melting so it's it's got got a really solid base and four tires here here is the new one and uh, there is this vent plug and there is one on the top which i will provide the bungs and kiln furnitures and everything for and once that um, controller reaches 600 degrees what you need to do is put these bungs in so there will be two plugs that you need to insert in here and in there so that the heat is not lost anymore um you need to leave it open until 600 degrees because all the fumes and um, basically baddies need to exit the kiln otherwise if you bung it in uh, with the with the con the plugs it's going to rot and i do have an example of rotting right there that kiln over there is absolutely rotten it's waiting to be done yet so um yeah please do not um leave the bungs inside this kiln at all once it is until it it reaches 600 degrees once it reaches 600 degrees then yes you you must put the bungs in i mean manufacturer says leave the bungs out but it's just you are just wasting the electricity you know and the heat is being lost via these plug holes so i always put my bungs on after 600 degrees there we are it is going up you can't even hear it going up but it is going up as you can see yeah so i hope um, you understood and um, there is a pet te pet test here and it's the box is brown so there is a very minor peeling here can't even see it very very minor you know um that's that's not going to affect the performance of the kiln at all it's just very superficial and there is a label here this has been used not um, not heavily as um, you can see from the inside of the kiln it's been very used lightly you know so um, and the external of the kiln is quite good condition as well and um, i think that's all i need to sh say apart from if you have any any questions please do fire me an email or um, let me know on ebay at all mm. yeah thank you so much for watching bye for now